the death of Coden, P.S. the victim of hallucination is advanced in the Riverside Institute at the point of discovering Sarah Hawkins alive, prisoner of Dr. Fuller. The last confrontation between Charles Hawkins and his wife revealed that the man, under his monstrous appearance, tried to protect her from the influence of the myth. He warned Pierce if Sarah succumbed to the lure of the occult, she would be loose to free sorry, she will lose all free will, allowing the cult to bring its plan to fruition, summon an ancient evil god. Henceforth, Pierce must know more about Sarah Hawkins' uh, intentions to find a way to protect her. No parent should have to bury their child. Knowing it's me that put him there. The guilt, the guilt will never go away. I feel your pain. I'll do anything to get him back. Anything. Well, so that's how she's going to join the My cult. work was what lured me here in the first place. She began showing me things. Things I never should have painted. Things Charles should never have seen. What am I to you? Saved you from your miserable life. You'll never find a man better than me. You owe me. I owe you nothing. We'll leave now. You're not going anywhere. <laughs> It's over now. Well. That's <laughs> Cthulhu himself. some points. I feel like we're going to be fighting a lot more now, so we'll put some in strength. Uh, psychology. There we go. Um, investigation. Validate. We good, boys. Mr. Pierce, we were waiting for you. Good. Sarah doesn't have much time. What are you doing here? <laughs> Did you think I would let you confront the occult without supervision? This is too dangerous for a bookworm like you. Oof. Algernon, I need to talk to Mr. Pierce. Very well, Sarah. I will be in Charles Hawkins' office. 
Why is the audio so weird? Some people are really fucking loud, other people are just quiet as shit. What's going on, B? You seem different. Yes. When I woke up this morning, my mind was sharper. Cleaner. I can still hear the voice calling me. It is so strong. So ancient. Enticing. Dangerous. I may never be able to escape his grip, but for now, I can keep it at bay. I know what I owe you, Mr. Pierce. But I can't come back to Boston with you. Why do you think you're responsible for everything that has happened? Because I am. I am the one who read the Forbidden Book. I am the one who painted the creature. I must find it and kill it. I am the only one who can end its slaughter. No. No, you will come with me to Boston. I owe you no obedience. This isn't about what you want or don't want to do. You would risk destroying the world just because you can't face the consequences of your actions. I am willing to atone for my sins. No. You're just trying to erase all proof of the mistakes you've made. I know what I have done. I will not rest until the creature is sent back to its dimension. I think the game's balked, because I don't think it's meant to say valid sans requirements. You can't give up. Even knowing the stakes. Yes, thank you. Still, I won't let you go. What? You will stay here until I find a safe way to return to Boston. That's ridiculous. Listen, Algernon knows of a way to protect me. Help him find what he seeks and we may all survive this battle. All right, I'll help you. Well, that was a quick change. No, you come back with, with me to Boston. No, talk to this guy. All right, I'll help you. God, so many books. Was Sarah Hawkins telling the truth? <laughs> what kind of ritual was she preparing? Was she trying to trap was it? Was the painting of the Shambler displayed here? Uh, she's trying to trap it. <laughs> Mrs. Hawkins never told me why she was in possession of the Necronomicon. How did she survive her encounter with the Shambler? Knowing Mrs. Hawkins, I bet she was willing to fight. She's meant to trap it into the circle. Charles Hawkins was ready to do anything to protect his wife. Oh, he fucked it up. escaped because he fucked up the ritual never fuck with other people's rituals get that shit out of here Honestly, without the, the whole cult and the, the the weird basement shit, I wouldn't mind living in this house. Do a bit of work on it. Not burn it down. How are you, Bradley? Ah, it's you, Pierce. I'm just worried about Marie. I mean, Dr. Colden. Have you had any news? Oh, uh, God. I gotta tell the truth. I'm so sorry, Bradley. I could do nothing to save her. What do you mean? What happened? I'm not sure what happened. But I found her body in the cellars of Riverside. You... You sure that you've got nothing to do with it? 
If she hadn't tried to help you, she might still be alive. I'm sorry. Truly. It's that slug, Fuller. I swear I'll shoot him. What do you say, Pierce? Are you with me? I'm sure Dr. Colden would have wanted you to help fight the cult. Fuller is just a link in the chain. It's their leader that must be tracked down. Marie devoted the last three months fighting against this monster, and it cost her her life. He killed her, Pierce. Don't presume to understand her motivations when you obviously paid no attention to her crusade. We must do something for those who are still alive, Bradley. Sarah is still in danger as long as the cult is active. We need to see this through, otherwise Marie's death will have been in vain. You're, uh, the voice of reason, Pierce. As always. On you, Bradley. Now is this, uh, this big boy. Where he said it was going to be. Ah, there you are. 